let's just take a look at the initial uh, well the initial effect of this when I hover over the opacity raises to one and the same with this as well however what I want is to create some kind of effect as as I navigate my mouse between the two the only one that's shown or a hundred percent opacity is the one with my mouse on so hopefully that uh, sort of sums up what I'm trying to do but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this inside the callback function uh, and then we're going to make a few modifications a bit later on so what I want to do is I want to use uh, a selector, the same selector, which is dot fade to. So this now means every other, um, well, this means every element on the page that has the class fade to. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and say fade to. And then I want to fade that to, um, well, at a speed of 100 uh, back to 0.4. So we need to make a couple of modifications in here and then we're going to make a little modification with regards to the callback function in a minute uh, because I'm creating this in a way that you know doesn't quite look right at first. So uh, let's just run through this. We're setting the opacity to all of our fade to elements to 0.4. Then as we fade over um, a, a fade to element, we set the currently moused over element to uh, fully visible and we set all other elements to 0.4 now by all other elements I don't mean all other elements uh, up as opposed to the one that we have our mouse over because this selector is not quite enough and we're going to be looking at something we can add in here in just a minute so at the moment this works uh, well it doesn't work and you can see why um, as I fade over each element the selector that we've used which is fade to uh, picks up the current the currently uh, moused over selector as well so we need to uh, add something in here that's going to um, stop this from happening so I'm gonna say just dot uh, dot not and inside here this so essentially in plain English it does make sense so we are fading the current element this element to one the one that we have our mouse over and then every other element but not this element i.e. not the one that we faded uh, the, how we have our mouse over fade to 0.4 so now when we uh, open up our browser and we hover over this element and then we go to this one you can see that they interchange and um, you can see that we obviously only ever uh, show full opacity to the element that we have our mouse over and obviously we could go ahead to index.php uh, we could copy this image uh, and we could paste it there and then we could go ahead and refresh and we have the effect for all three images so when I uh, look at this I think something like a photo gallery um, something that you have you know a full focus on a particular image only uh, and this is faded in now there is one more problem here in the sense that when I hover over this one uh, you might not be able to notice it at the speed it's at but let's go ahead and just slow down the animation just for one second uh, let's go ahead and set this to uh, let's say 700 and we'll go ahead and set this one in fact let's set it to a, a, a second and you'll be able to see it a lot better now watch what happens I faded this in fair enough but now watch what happens when I roll over the next image now you'll notice that it took um, a second obviously for the fade in to happen but what happens is the element that's currently in focus um, fades in but the other element doesn't fade out until this particular animation is complete and that's where we've gone wrong in the sense that we've used the callback function now this callback function remember only actually completes what's inside of it once that once the current uh, the current fade to uh, has finished so the current animation has finished so what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this line out and I'm going to just get rid of the callback function and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down a line and paste this in here so now what's going to happen is we fade the particular element to uh, an opacity of one after a, uh, a sec uh, sorry yeah a second I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this back to 500 or to 500 but then instead of using a callback function and waiting for the animation to complete we just simply use this to fade out the other element at the same time so now what happens is we get a much better effect and they, this one fades out you know each one fades out as the other one is in view or has their mouse over 
So let's go ahead and reduce the speed even more to uh, back to 0.1 of a second. Uh, and this just gives a really nice uh, hover over effect, uh, you know, much like a gallery would. So we, uh, you know, when we write code, we think of it in the sense of, oh, we could go ahead and uh, use the callback function and take advantage of that to then run another piece of code uh, once the animation or, or once we've faded this in or out. But in actual fact, it's better that we've used this on two lines uh, to be able to create a sort of a more flowing effect uh, through each image. And obviously you can go ahead and you can just go ahead and copy these images to, you know, sort of a, as many um, images on a page as you like you know these could be sort of like dynamically loaded um, you know with a, a, a sort of like a back-end web development file you could just go ahead and load in a load of images in your gallery or just keep them static it doesn't really matter but as long as it's got this fade to class we take advantage of this really nice functionality so we've looked at setting the CSS opacity to 0.4 we've looked at obviously uh, an event here we've looked at fading this in and we've more importantly looked at this not selector here uh, because without this vital uh, piece of code uh, we get this really odd sort of effect when we hover over it just automatically fades uh, that that particular element out so we've just created another condition here to say not the particular element uh, that has the mouse over so this effect is really really fun to play with and it's extremely easy to make it uh, like I said, if you had you know sort of tiny thumbnails on a page, uh, and you wanted to, um, to sort of fade this in, even a really large image gallery, it would look really really nice. So just this code here, uh, and just you know appending this class or, or, or applying this class to elements, uh, we've managed to create this really really cool uh, sort of gallery fade in effect.